Well, let me, I guess if I start with my undergrad days, I wasn't a very good student. Uh, so it's kind of funny that I ended up uh, going the professor uh, route. And so I, uh, I use that story now in, in helping uh, students, you know, that I started on one professional pathway uh, and didn't really expect to end up uh, where I did as a, as a professor. So I somehow stumbled my way through undergraduate uh, ended up going to get a master's degree and then when I learned that there was such a field as higher education that I could study, uh, I went back to graduate school and I entered that program uh, thinking I wanted to be a community college president because I had enjoyed my prior experiences working in higher education up to that point. Uh, and about two years into the program I started doing research with a professor. Uh, and I just kind of fell in love with the opportunity to help students by uh, you know, conducting research that could improve higher education policy and practice that could help more students go to college and then uh, you know, create policies and practices that help more students graduate from college. So I entered my PhD program having worked in higher education for a few years and I was pretty convinced I wanted to be an administrator. And several years into my program, after conducting research projects with the faculty there, uh, I kind of knew that research was for me. And so when I graduated, I began looking for faculty positions. And uh, here I am seven years later at the University of Houston. Uh, I feel really fortunate and blessed to, to be here. So our master's degree in higher education we offer it in an entirely online format, and then we have a face-to-face on-campus program. Probably worth noting, our online degree program has been ranked uh, alongside several other programs, online programs, graduate programs, in the College of Education. Uh, been ranked for the past three years, I think, as number one in the nation by U.S. News and, and World Report. So we're really proud of that for our online program. Our, face-to-face -face program uh, continues to grow. Uh, we have a lot of graduate assistantship opportunities for students who are interested in gaining work experience in higher education while they earn their master's degree. And our program also allows people who are working professionals uh, to maintain their full-time employment and to come back and earn their master's degree uh, while you know, maintaining their job. We have a really good track record of our students getting the jobs that they want and uh, getting promoted uh, in the places that they, that they currently work. So I think one of the great things about our higher education program and because of its context and where we're situated in Houston uh, is we get students from all over the country and all over the world that come to study with us. And uh, it's one thing to read about international higher education in a textbook and it's another thing to go through a degree program with five or six students that are in your cohort that are from around the world, right? The learning that takes place uh, even within our classroom setting because of uh, the diversity that's located not only in the greater Houston area, but in uh, you know, the international population that Houston attracts. I think it's a, a real strength of our program and, and one that's hard to match even nationwide. Uh, here at the University of Houston, uh, I absolutely love working with our higher education students and teaching in the classroom because they share this same passion that I have for uh, improving college student success, uh, helping colleges and universities function more effectively uh, so that they can provide the greatest good for students and for the communities in which they, they serve. So I kind of see teaching as a way to, to pay it forward. Uh, a little bit knowing that my students uh, are going to go out and be change agents uh, in, in the places in which they are employed in the places in which they live and uh, I feel that that's a real privilege and a blessing to be able to do that.